Wow, this food took so long to come. So hungry. This is my favorite food on planet Earth. Wow, I'm so excited. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. We have a Q&A today and I thought I'd turn it into a mukbang because I don't think I've done a mukbang and I was so hungry. I thought I might as well just combine it. So here we go, I've got some Mexican. I cannot tell you how excited I am to eat this. It's probably gonna defeat the object of the mukbang because I'm just gonna be scoffing it all down because I'm so hungry. I've got tacos, steak tacos. I've got corn on the cob for a side. And I always like to like pick at a rice bowl. So I've got a beef and pinto bean rice bowl as well. And I did actually order some hummus and pita. They rung me and said, we're all out. So they sent me chips instead, which I will probably get grabbing for, which is annoying. And then I have Coke Zero. So I put on my story on Instagram. If you don't follow me, head over there and follow me and subscribe if you haven't already. Look how close we're getting to 100k. I actually can't believe it. If you want to subscribe and stick around, then please do. It will mean the world to me. Um, yeah, so... I don't want for much. Whoa. I've got quite a lot of questions to get through. And I'm going to eat food as well. Also, not an ad at all, but a little shout out to the food service near me called Go Getters. I always use them. Love them so much. They're a really small company and they always hook me up with the best food ever. Not an ad, just want to let you know if you're from Hertfordshire. They've given me a discount code, which is SID10. So save yourself some money on some food. But... It's probably not good that they do it because I do order food multiple times a week. And getting like Mexican is my um, idea of being a little bit more healthy. Is, is it healthy? Anyway, I'm going to need a quick bite of this one sec. Mm. Also, I'm starting today's video in the best mood because today I found out that Zelia's had her little baby girl, baby Pia, and she's announced it now so I can say her name. I've known her name for like five months, which is crazy, and I just can't believe she's here. I'm so excited to meet her. But anyway, let's get on with the questions and catch up on life. Also, definitely bear with me if you see any food in my teeth because um, I'm eating food. What am I supposed to do? Right, so there's quite a few questions around polycystic ovaries. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I recently, to be honest, you'll know the start of it if you only watch me on YouTube. But obviously in a few of my vlogs, I mentioned that I was having doctor's appointments because something was off, which is, this is the question I've just clicked on actually. What were your symptoms? So you won't know that I went privately in the end and I had appointments and found out that I have polycystic ovaries. Now I call it PCOS when I shorten it, hear me out, which I know is polycystic ovarian syndrome, but there's two versions and it's my own fault. I need to go and ask my doctor really, but I'm pretty, pretty sure, bad memory that I have polycystic ovaries, that, that version, and I don't have the syndrome. So when I call it PCOS, when I'm shortening it, I'm actually saying it wrong. But I don't know what the abbreviation for just the polycystic ovaries is. I will put on the screen the different versions if I can find the right term. Obviously, I'm not a doctor. I don't really know the ins and outs. And I, I don't feel comfortable giving a like proper breakdown myself verbally but I can talk to you about what I know I have right now even though to, to be honest it's still quite a bit of a blur to me and obviously everything's so new to me so I'm still learning like every single day about it and watching YouTube videos which I don't know if you're supposed to google and stuff but then I feel like it's really hard not to research when you've just been diagnosed with something new, if that makes sense. So from what I can gather, obviously I've only known for probably like a month, and then in that time I've been in America for a few weeks. So first of all, let me try and keep this short and sweet because I don't want this whole video to be about that. But really quickly, the reason I went private is because I was on a waiting list with the NHS 
and it was going to take a matter of months and I just thought you know what I'm just going to go private it was something that I think was subconsciously bothering me more than I thought and it's still now something that I'm going to have to learn to manage mentally because I do feel like I do just sit and I just drift off into thought and I start overthinking it which is obviously not the best it's something that I need to learn to just put to the back of my head and learn to live with but I went private I met up with a gynecologist who was amazing and had that consultation she said from that first appointment just like a verbal chat that she thought it was polycystic ovaries but obviously didn't just want to guess so then I was booked in for an ultrasound and then from the ultrasound I had a follow-up appointment with the gynecologist and that's when we worked out that I have polycystic ovaries and not the syndrome so my symptoms to go back to the first question I hadn't had a period in a year and I still haven't but that is now the outcome of my appointment so I've been put on a prescription which is basically going to trigger my body into having a period but it's not going to be like being on the pill because I was on the pill for around six seven maybe eight years and I was having periods then but I'm pretty sure again please don't quote me on any of this but when you have a period from the pill it's actually like a fake period also please excuse I'm gonna have to talk and eat to an extent because otherwise this video is gonna be a little bit pointless so I am actually taking the tablet now and I've not yet had a period but I'm about to finish my course of tablets and I should come on my period soon <laughs> I'm gonna be honest I I don't know your guess is as good as mine if I'm gonna come on hopefully I should on paper I should if not we'll cross that bridge when we get to it and I'll have to update you in my next vlog maybe but that's where we're at to give a tiny bit more information in case someone's sitting there like oh my god I'm going for the exact same thing as you I would definitely look into it and see a doctor if you can because I didn't actually know that I was not doing harm on my body but I could have been because you have to have at least three periods three bleeds a year for your body to be deemed as healthy because it lines your god I'm really testing myself here it lines your uterus so that's what we're doing at the moment obviously I can have more than three if I have the prescription monthly which I'm pretty sure you're allowed to have I've only been given one at the moment but I'm just taking a month at a time to be honest but that's where I'm at I don't really know like I said sometimes I feel like I'm sitting there and I'm overthinking it but it's I could have it so much worse I know some people get really bad period pains from having polycystic ovaries I'm the opposite obviously I don't have them so I don't experience any pain but at the same time I've got that doubt and that worry in my head like why am I not having periods are they ever going to naturally come back blah 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 so that's where I'm at. I'd be lying if I said that it all just kind of doesn't bother me. I think it's more the old fashioned thing of polycystic ovaries means you can struggle with fertility for me personally. Um, my gynecologist did say to me, like, please don't even entertain that because Technically, I think she said it's easier for people with polycystic ovaries to fall pregnant, but obviously I'm in the boat of the people, I don't even know what the percentage would be, that don't have periods, and you need a period to have a baby. So, I don't know. We'll have to see, but yeah, that's where I'm at with it. And it is what it is. I guess I'm just, like, there's nothing I can do about it. I know there's different supplements I can take. A lot of people have said there's supplements. I'm still learning. If you have any information, I know people said follow Instagram accounts. I've actually followed a girl and it's I'm fascinated by her. She is like, her Instagram was like all based around the fact that she was basically told that she maybe wouldn't have kids through polycystic ovaries and she has, she's pregnant with her second. And she explains like she's adamant that it was because of these certain supplements, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, the stories do fascinate me, I can't lie. 
But anyway, moving on because that took up a massive chunk. I'm really sorry. I think I'll mix it up a little bit. So I'll skim through some really quick ones and then I'll go <laughs> with a more chatty one. Did your armpit Botox work in the end? So I feel like it worked for a little while. But I, I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I was a very, I am a very sweaty person. It's in our genes because myself and my brother Joel, we went to have it together and we've both kind of been like, we're still sweating. Like I would definitely still sweat. Maybe it reduced it a little bit. Would I rush back and get it? Probably not. But it's one of the things I do think it's different for everyone. So I wouldn't say don't try it just because it hasn't worked amazingly for me it's annoying because it is one of them things that's not a long-term fix anyway so where is the next place you will travel so right here right now i don't have anything booked there's potentially a brand trip manifest it i will say it if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen which could be to a greek island which would be this month i think it's going ahead i'm not sure i was planning a trip for my birthday with a load of the girls and their boyfriends and me and Cass but it's stressful it's a lot I don't know maybe me and Cass will just do something for my birthday which will be abroad hopefully um but yeah nothing yet I'm very last minute when it comes to trips so who knows mukbangs are really hard <laughs> I just begin to eat but I'm gonna have a bite of my my corn I feel like this top is not that flattering sitting here like this. I actually love this top. It's from Free People. I got it whilst I was away. But the way I'm sitting, I look like I've got no boobs. I've got a strapless bra on, which I hate the way strapless bras make your boobs look. And also, I'm just all like bunched up. So if you and Cass went together, would you go on Love Island? Absolutely not. Like, absolutely not. <laughs> I just couldn't. I get that it's for some people. Like, Molly was amazing on it. It's been, like, the best thing she's ever done, I'm sure. But, no. It's a no for me. It's just not for me. Not even the, the reality TV. I think it's the whole, like, being in a bikini on telly. You don't know what... It's a bit like Big Brother. Like, I just don't think I could constantly have cameras on me. Okay, there's a couple of these. How much was your American trip all together? So, obviously, there's so many different ways you can do trips like that we went to five different locations coachella we had so many inbound flights we didn't have much driving involved we had a mix we had some lower end hotels then we had some bad and bougie hotels so we did really mix it up and i don't mind actually saying it was a lot it i think hotels flights and coachella which coachella was a thousand pound by the way was about five thousand each and i hope that doesn't come across me bragging at all i just want to be honest like it is expensive but i feel like it is a once in a lifetime kind of trip we've been planning it for a really long time and i think we didn't intend for it to get that expensive but some of the hotels were really last minute. The Coachella Hotel was extortionate because you're booking the most popular weekend of the whole year. So they triple their prices, quadruple. Yeah, and spending money, I couldn't say. I couldn't say. Well, not a lot. Not like, I'm not saying it in a way that it's like loads and loads and loads. But it's different for everyone. Like you could do food shops. You could be on a budget. Like we did go out for quite a lot of dinners. And then going off that, a few people said, was the American trip worth it? 100% it was so good there are so many places in the world that we wanted to see and that was a list of places that weren't a million miles from each other and I think that's why we did so many all in one go because getting over to America is a bit of a pain it's obviously like 11 hours on the plane so we just thought it was worth it like last time we went to America as well we did the Bahamas because that's only an hour on from Miami so it's worth, if you can, tackling a few places. Right, the food situation and talking and eating is stressing me out a little bit. So I'm actually going to finish there. I feel like I'm getting indigestion. I'm just, I'm struggling a little bit. And this is making me feel so fizzy, but I'm so thirsty. Anyway, what can we expect from your brand next? Oh. 
So I don't know if you saw, I posted on the 4849 Instagram. And if you don't know, I've got a clothing brand and it's been a little bit quiet over there. It's been very stressful, I can't lie. I don't know what I expected. I knew it was going to be stress. I knew it was going to be hard, but it's a lot more than I ever, ever anticipated. But I try not to speak about the negative side of it because it was always going to be hard. Like nothing in business is easy. But there is stuff coming, I promise. I will say, hopefully, it should be, but I say hopefully just because the way of the world, things can be delayed. Things have been delayed until this point. So next month, which is my birthday month, which is crazy. So June, there should be new things. And then from there, I'm hoping every month I should have a new drop, which is exciting. Fingers crossed everything goes to plan. But that's what the hold up's been, just prepping to have this continuous drop of new things you can expect some color you can expect some summery vibes there's been a lot of thought gone into design and just the, the graphic and there's good stuff coming the next thing we're dropping is by far my favorite thing ever there's always so many questions on Cass, my boyfriend, does it bother you that Cass is younger? I liked someone, but he's two years younger, so I don't know how I feel about it. Absolutely not. I think... Did it? I don't think it bothered me in the beginning, but I more so couldn't care less now. I think maybe because when we first got together, he was 20. I don't think I could have been with him when he was 19. Right now he's 23, I'm 24, but I'm 25 soon. So it's like just short of two years. But we talk about it, I wouldn't say often, but if it comes up in conversation with someone, like we'll speak about it like that day and I'll just be like, do you forget the age gap? And he's like, oh, absolutely. Like if anything, <laughs> he's like, you seem younger than me. We just like... I don't know. Age is just a number to an extent, I think. How is the house hunt going? <laughs> it's going. Oh, it's, it's, I don't know. There's not much I can say right now. And it's something that I probably won't talk about until... You'll probably know the day I get my keys, if I do, if things do happen. There's potentials. I don't know. But yes, ASAP Rocky. ASAP. And then I will rent this out. That is my plan. That has always been my plan. And I've got this to a really high standard now. And I love this flat so much. And I will miss it so much. But it will be a really great rental. So close to the station. It's around the corner from the airport. So it's a great property to keep. What shows and films could you rewatch forever? Right. If you do one thing. If you take one thing from me. Watch One Tree Hill. Watch Vampire Diaries. One Tree Hill is hard to find on things, so they took it off a lot of things. I don't know why. You can buy it on Prime, but I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I probably would, because I know how much I love it, but Nana 2 and I, I'm re-watching that at the moment. That's on Prime. And I'd say Grey's Anatomy is amazing, but I didn't finish it myself. But it's more so there's so many seasons, and I feel like I lose track with it because there's so many seasons this is so random someone said have you ever had acrylics on your toes <laughs> no i've never had acrylics on my toes i always get gels and i get biab on my on my uh, what these <laughs> on my fingers these are my own nails what the actual heck can you take it there's a lot of questions <laughs> about me and Cass living together me and Cass having kids me and Cass getting married, which I feel like every single Q&A, that is one of the number one questions. And I feel like I do always answer it. I do always have a different answer. Not even a different answer, but this is going to be one of my lengthy ones. On paper, we don't live together yet. We pretty much do in the sense where we're, we're together all the time. But he yeah he hasn't 
I don't know what it is. Like, do you know what it is? I think we've made a bit of a joke of it where he's like, well, I'm not going to move in until you ask me. And I'm almost, I don't know. I think maybe being female and doing this thing, living on my own for so long and like owning my own property, I'm a bit like, I don't know. It's not that deep, but I think <laughs> I know in my head where my nan was like such an independent woman when she had her kids, like my mom and my uncle, like she's always said like, never rely on anyone, never this, never that. Like as soon as you live with someone, you can't really backtrack from that. Like you don't one day be like, oh, should we live apart for a bit? Like unless we go our separate ways one day, that's it, we're together forever. So I think we make a little bit of a joke of it at the moment and also it's like this is my home and as much as I, I'd love him here and he loves being here and he's always here maybe part of us is like wait till I'm in the next place but then it's not that deep he might as well just be here and he technically is but I don't know I think it's because obviously in my job people are like do you live together yet but technically yes but technically not so I don't really know i'd really answered that really bad how many times i'm gonna say really but also it falls into his job and everything like he lives an hour from me and his work is based in his hometown he lives around the corner to where he works so it's convenience as well and then what was the next part of the question <clears throat> that was very beating around the bush sorry about that maybe i'll make this the last question because this video is going to be so long marriage i don't know there's no ring, so <laughs> obviously it will come with like when we live together, I guess. But I think we both not even having to discuss it too much. We, we've spoke about it, but we're not that bothered by it. I mean, I'm a bit more bothered than I used to be. I used to be like, I don't need to get married. Like it means nothing to me kind of thing. But I do think as I'm getting older and you think about kids and stuff and you think, I want the same last name as my kids, stuff like that. But obviously that's not my say, I have no say. <laughs> when we get married, it will be down to him. So if you really want to know the answer to that question, you'll have to DM Cass. But that's that one. And also we want everything super low key. So I think that's why we kind of just brush it under the carpet. We both want something super small if we were to get married. And a massive part of me just would like to is it elope? Is it elope? Like when you just go off and get married, just you two. I'd happily do that. But also I wouldn't like to offend anyone, like family wise and not have family there. So I don't know, but I'll keep you updated. But as for now, no, we're not getting married. Kids, this is a lot. I feel like I'm in therapy. I, this kind of stems from, I guess, the polycystic ovaries question. I love babies so much. I mean, it doesn't take a lot for you to learn that. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you're probably aware. Like, all my friends always say to me, like, you are so obsessed with kids. Like, why don't you just have kids? And I finally feel like I'm getting to that stage in life where I'm understanding why people get a bit annoyed by that question. Not annoyed. That's the wrong word. But say touch wood. Ugh, it's no word. Oh, wood floor. It's not even a real word. Oh my god. Touch wood. It doesn't happen. But say it does take me a little while to fall pregnant because of my polycystic ovaries. I can understand why it would be annoying for people to be like, "What are you having kids? What are you having kids? What are you having kids?" I get it. Um. So I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I think I'm very open to the idea of it. Whenever. I think I'm in that phase of life. We both are. Where. We don't go out loads with our friends. Like, we don't have, like, a massive party social life. We're looking to move, maybe, and have a bigger place. So, it's so hard to say. I'd love to be that person that's like, I think we'll try it in this time next year. Because, like, deep in my heart, I know that I just 
I don't know. I think it's gonna have to be one of them where if it happens, it happens. And I pray that it is a smooth ride and it is easy. But we just don't know. We do not know. So, so take it as whenever. Right, I'm gonna do one more because I, I've split this into clips. And because I was eating, I feel like it took me ages. So hopefully this isn't too long. But how are you feeling mentally? How are you? How are you doing? I love that that question pops up so much. Like, it means so much that after all these years of me being online, people still genuinely care how I am. So, I actually am really good. I'm excited for what's to come this year. I feel like the only maybe downfall in my mood recently is, like, me overthinking about this whole polycystic ovaries thing. And then, also, I do have ways at the moment of just feeling a little bit uninspired in my job. But I try and be positive and see how far I've come and look at things from a different perspective and I set my little goals each year and I did have a look on my goal board the other day and I, I'm still hitting things which I didn't have in mind hitting until like the end of the year so I think I forget that I'm still on track and I'm doing really well but I don't know I'm just always a little bit hard on myself. I think it's Instagram. I don't know what it is with Instagram. It gets to me. Instagram, it's just this job. You can really pick yourself apart and just try and remind myself, even though it's my job, it's such a minor thing, Instagram. But I'm much preferring TikTok and I've always loved YouTube so much. So they definitely are my happy places. So if you are still here in this video, congrats. But if you do watch my videos, I appreciate it so much. And I feel like this is my little safe space. It's my little haven. Yeah, it definitely goes like YouTube, TikTok, Instagram for me. So, yeah, but I'm good all in all. Life's good. Good things come in. Staying positive. Trying to get back on my workout. I'm very yo-yo when it comes to stuff like that. But anyway... I'm going to stop there because, honestly, I don't think eating and talking was a really good idea. I still feel very, like, gross. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you had a nice little life update from me. And I hope some of my answers make sense. I do feel like I've massively beat around the bush. But it's just me trying to open up and not be such a scaredy cat. <laughs> If I miss anything out, do DM me and I'm sure I'll do another Q&A at some point. Follow me on Instagram as much as I don't love that app that much at the moment. I do feel like I obviously am updating my stories a lot more and it's more like real time kind of thing where YouTube's like a couple days out. So anyways, thanks for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.